So someone actually requested me to do this. This is mostly for a young lady named Lauren who just loves this trick. So I've got a short rope and let's see, a medium rope and a long rope. And these are just normal ropes. I actually bought these down at Lowe's. There's nothing special about them. Unfortunately, they don't always cut them right. I actually wanted three ropes that were the same length, not a short, a medium, and a long. So when you get the wrong ropes, you just have to make do with what you got. If you double up all of these, so let's see, there I've got four of them, four of the ends up. Here I've got yeah, another end up. And finally that last one up. So now I've got all six ends even. If I do that, and with a little bit of stretching, you end up with three ropes all the same length. That's kind of handy. I mean, there's times you might want that. So, you know, here's one. And then I've got, uh, let's see, two and three. So three ropes all the same length. Nice? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's, that, that, you're thinking, well, you're hiding something in your hand. Well, I'm, I'm not really. I've got just three ropes. And if you don't believe me, there's that. Yeah, it's, it's, I know it's hard, but it's just three ropes. Of course, if this is all there was to it, I'd be kind of in trouble because I couldn't bring them back again to what they were before. So instead of just having three ropes equal, Let's make them unequal again. Remember, I made them equal by bringing all the ends up to the same point. So if instead of making them equal, I make some longer than the others, well then, I won't have three equal ropes, right? So now the ends are all different lengths. I can just take one of those and pick them and Pull out a long, pull out a medium, and pull out a short. Three different ropes. That's for you, Lauren. <laughs>